It's very crowded. But one thing I'm sure, there are no foreigners inside. <laughs> PAP said in the manifesto that they are securing our future. I got a question to ask Lee Hsien Long. Uh. Are we securing PAP future or Singapore's future? Today, I stand before you as a candidate of the Reform Party. I'm actually previously on loan as a loan candidate from Singapore People's Party under Mr. Cham Si Tong. <laughs> Mr. Cham Si Tong has inspired me despite having two strokes in 2009. He, he persisted on and that is the main motivation and inspiration that I have which forced me to go ahead with Amokyo GRC. At the 11th hour, one day before nomination day, I was still short of $32,000 for electoral deposit. I put it up on my Facebook status. I said that, I tell myself, Amokyo GRC must be contested. Whatever it takes. Lee Hsien Long's performance for the past five years must be given a report, a report card. <laughs> PAP has always tells us that they are very clean. They are, they, have trans, they are transparent. They have accountability. They are honest. Do you believe any of this? No. Exactly why? Which is why Amokyo residents, if you are here today, Reform Party, we are here to give you a chance to vote to gauge the Prime Minister Lee's performance for the past five years. You tell me, you tell me whether if the influx of foreigners is acceptable. You tell me whether the million dollar salaries of the ministers is acceptable. You tell me whether it's acceptable that foreign workers are replacing our low-income workers and forcing our elderly to work or in the coffee shops, collecting tin cans and cardboards, going from bus stops to bus stops under the hot sun. Is this acceptable? But looking at PAP today, oh, it seems like in the recent months, they have changed. Why? Because election is coming. Very obvious. Huh? <laughs> but the sad thing is, elections, general elections only come five years once. We cannot have general elections every year. <laughs> if only we can have generation, generation, general election every year, then we can have uh, collect our ampau. Lah. But that's why I said, I thank the PAP for their, for their contributions, I mean for their share, uh, grow and share package. Correct. And then they, don't forget that, it is our money, it is not their money. How can they deny Potong Basse and Aukang residents of upgradings? This is totally unfair. West Coast GRC, West Coast GRC residents, do not be afraid of voting for the opposition. Your, the PAP might threaten you that you will be denied of upgradings. But having walked the ground in Potong Pase, I can tell you, Potong, Potong Pase residents are very proud of themselves and they call themselves Potong Pase residents more than Singaporeans. The PAP can draw the lines. You can stay in, you can stay in Hong Kong. Oh, since five, five years ago, you are, you are called uh, Totsugang GRC. But your area is called Kek Hong. It's very confusing. Uh. Why do you think we have a loss of our national identity? It's because of them wanting to conserve their PAP, wanting to conserve their power in parliament. They cut our, they cut our Singapore up. Putting us into different constituencies. I stay in Wampo. I used to be from I used to be from uh, Jalan Besar GRC. But seriously, I don't know who am I who am I anymore. 
Come May 7, you will be casting your sacred vote. PAP always say, vote wisely. Indeed, vote wisely. For the next five years, you are not voting for the next five years. You are voting for the future, for the next 50 years. We are not going to give them another 50 years of baby single party rule. Thank you very much. Vote for change. Vote the PAP out. Vote Reform Party. West Coast GRC, Reform!